Now let's talk about the equation of planes, and it's actually very similar to equations of lines. And instead of needing a point and a vector, now we need a point and a very special vector that we call the normal vector. Okay, so let's we're talking about planes, and instead of a line and a vector, we need a point. We need a point, which is in the plane, and a normal vector. Okay, and what is a normal vector? Well, if I had a plane, um, the normal vector is going to be this vector that is perpendicular to the plane. Okay, and notice that there's going to be two normal vectors. There's going to be that normal vector, and then there's going to be this one that's negative, um, that's like below the plane, and uh, they're the same thing. So they both will give you the same equation of the plane, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you find as long as you find one of them. So how do we do this? Well, all right, let's say that I have, uh, let's say I have the point, uh, let's say, uh, let's see, P, all right, is equal to 0, 2, negative 1, and N is my normal vector, and it's uh, 3, negative 2, negative 1. Okay. And this is essentially 12, 4, or 12, 5, 21. Right? This is a very simple problem. Uh, most problems won't be this simple. And so how do we do this? Well, the plane has this following equation. Right? The, the plane equation is ax plus by plus cz equals d, where a, b, c, d, these guys are constants. Okay, so A, B, C, D are some constants, and X, Y, Z are essentially, um, you know, the, the variables of three-dimensional space. And N, right, when you find the normal, N tells you what A, B, C are. So N, this is A, and this is B, and that's C. So that's A, that's B, and that's C. And so in our plane equation, then, we already have 3X minus 2y minus z is equal to d, and so now all we need to find is d, right? And so this is where the point comes in. We have a point with coordinates, right, x, y, z, okay? And so we plug those into p, uh, we plug the points into our equation, so now we have 3 times 0 minus 2 times 2 minus, uh, minus Right, minus a negative one, right? And that's equal to d, and so now this is zero minus four plus one is equal to d, so d is equal to negative three, and our plane equation then is going to be three x minus two y, right? Minus z is equal to negative three, okay? And so that's gonna be the plane equation here. And like I said, most problems aren't gonna be this simple, and let's see if I can find uh, one that's going to be slightly more difficult. Do, do, do. Yeah. So okay. So what what most what do most examples look like? Well, most examples are going to look like this. Um, let's say they're going to give you three points instead. So let's do 12, 5, 24. Okay. And so now they're going to give you three points. Uh, P is equal to two, four, five. Um, Q is equal to 1, 5, 7, and R is equal to negative 1, 6, 8, okay? And so remember, what do we need? We need a point and a normal, all right? This is, all, this is what we always need. We need a point and we need a normal vector. So how do we find our normal vector in this case? Well, if you're told that these three points are in the plane, what I can do then is, let's say these three points are in the plane, right? So these three points are in my plane. If I take two vectors originating from the same point, right? What happens if I take the cross product? Do you guys remember? Do you guys know what the def the, the um, theoretical component of the cross product is? Well, um, one theoretical explanation of the cross product is that the resulting vector of the cross product is going to be perpendicular to um, both these vectors, right? And in this case, using the right-hand rule, um, it's going to be this 
vector down here cross the vector up here, right? And so uh, if we take the cross product of these two vectors, we'll get one of the normals. We'll either get that one pointing up or we'll get this one pointing down, right? But either way, we're going to get a vector perpendicular to both vectors. And therefore, we're going to find the normal vector since we know that these two vectors are going to be in the plane, right? So I have three points in the plane. I create two vectors that have to be in the plane as well because the three points originally were in the plane. And then taking the cross product of the two vectors gives me one of the normal vectors. So in this case, then let's do PQ as one of our vectors. And so that's negative one, one, two. Right, so Q might, the, each component of Q minus P, and then PR is going to be negative 3, 2, 3, okay? And so now we need PQ cross PR. Again, in this case, it doesn't matter um, which way you cross it, because you'll end up with one of the two normals. So negative 1, 1, 2, negative 3, 2, 3, okay? And so that's equal to I times 1, 2, 2, 3. Um, minus j times negative 1, 2, negative 3, 3, plus k times, uh, let's see, negative 1, 1, negative 3, 2, right? And so this is then equal to uh, negative 1, comma, uh, that's negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3, negative 3, and then this is positive 1, okay? And so now this is my normal vector. This is PQ cross PR, which happens to be uh, my normal vector n. And so now, remember, these each component is A, B, C. Right? This is A, this is B, this is C. And so I have negative x minus 3y plus z is equal to D. And now I need a point, right? And, well, I have three points right here. I can use any one of them. And so let's use 2, 4, 5. Why not? So 2, 4, 5, then, is negative 2 minus 3 times 4 plus 5 is equal to D. And so now I got negative 2 minus 4 plus 5, so that's 9. So I get negative 9 is equal to D. Okay? And my equation, then, is going to be negative x minus 3y plus Z um, is equal to negative 9. And if you like more uh, positive numbers than negative numbers, it's perfectly fine to multiply this by negative 1 and get x plus 3y minus z is equal to 9. Okay, so that's also a perfectly acceptable answer. Uh, you don't just need to have uh, the ones with the negative numbers. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure I did that correctly. Uh, yep, yeah, I did. Cool. And so, and that's another way you can find equations of planes. Okay, so usually they'll give you three points. Um, one last way they'll do it is they'll give you like, uh, some lines. So let's say, so uh, the third part, okay, um, so this is 12445, this is method two, right, which is three points in a plane. So that's the second method. Um, me method three is they'll give you two lines in a plane. Okay? And again, you always just want to stick with the fact that you can find a point in a normal vector. So this, let's do 12, 5, 30. And uh, L1 is equal to, so x is equal to t, y is equal to 3 minus 3t, three z is equal to negative 2 minus t, okay? and then uh, t is like in the range of infinity equal. And then L2 um, they have uh, x is equal to 1 plus s, uh, y is equal to 4 plus s, and z is equal to negative 1 plus s. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, we can rewrite L1 as equal to 0, 3, negative 2, uh, plus t times 1, negative 3, negative 1. Right? And how do I do that? Well, you look at the coefficients of the t, which are 1 negative 3 and negative 1, and then you throw them into this vector, right? So this should be a vector. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it should be consistent. So, uh, so t multiplies that, and then you look at all the constants, which were 3, negative 2, and then nothing here, 
So you throw those into a point, and so L1 is that, and then L2 is going to be, um, okay, uh, L2 is going to be 1, 4, negative 1, plus S times 1, 1, 1, okay? So if we think about it, what happens, right? We have two lines running in space right now. So our first step then, right, because we need, again, we need a point and we need a normal vector, um, the first step is we need to find where they intersect because this point is going to be in the plane, right? So we need to find the point of intersection. And so how do we do that? Well, essentially, uh, the first step then is to uh, find the point of intersection, which is the following. Uh, essentially, you have, you want to that means that x coordinates have to be equal to each other, right? This x coordinate has to be equal to that coordinate. This y coordinate has to equal that coordinate, and that z coordinate has to equal that z coordinate because that's when they intersect, right? Two lines intersect at a point, so the point has to share the same x, y, z coordinates. Um, and so you got t is equal to one plus s. Uh, three minus three t is equal to four plus s, and uh, negative two minus t is equal to uh, negative 1 plus s, right? and so now it's just solving systems of equations, um, and so what we're going to do, well, this is a good equation right here, since we know t is equal to 1 plus s, so then I can then sub that in here, and I can say 3 minus 3 times, right, t is 1 plus s, so instead of 3t, I do 3 minus 3 times 1 plus s is equal to 4 plus s, and then this gets me uh, 3 minus 3 minus 3s is equal to 4 plus s, and so that essentially is negative 3s is equal to 4 plus s, and we see that s is equal to negative 1, and okay, so s is equal to negative 1, or t equals to 1 plus s, so t then is equal to uh, 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. Okay, so they intersect at t equals 0 and s equals 1. Um, that's where they intersect, and if we plug that into our equation up there, um, L1 at 0, right, with the T parameter, is just going to be 0, 3, negative 2. And then just to check, L2 at negative 1 is going to be 1, 4, negative 1, minus 1 times 1, 1, 1. And so that's equal to 0, 3, negative 2. All right, so that's cool. So this is then our point in the plane. Okay, so this is P. This is our point. All right, and now the next step is we need to find the normal. And how do we find the normal? Well, we're essentially given two vectors already, right? The equations of lines, remember from the previous video, the equations of lines have normal uh, have a vector component in them, right? Which is why we writ wrote them like this. We got one negative three negative one, and one 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 as our two normal vectors. So now I just need to find Oh, I J K, right, and it was uh, one negative three. Yeah, one negative three negative one, and one one one. Those are two vectors from our line, right? So that's you can think of this as L one cross L two, um, if that makes you feel better. But it's also the normal vector. And so what is this? This is I times negative three negative one 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 minus J times one negative one 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 uh, plus K times 1, negative 3, 1, 1, right? And then this is now equal to um, the vector, uh, negative 2, negative 2, and let's say 4, okay? So now, with my plane equation, step 3 is the plane equation, which gets me a negative 2x plus 2y plus or z, or negative 2x minus 2y plus 4z is equal to d, and now I need a point. Well, I've found my point in step 1, which is 0, 3, negative 2. So negative 2 times 0 minus 2 times negative 3, uh, or 0 positive 3, negative 2, and then plus 4 times negative 2. Right. Computer, please. Okay. So 0, 3, negative 2. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go to d, and so this looks like negative 14. So I get negative 2x minus 2y plus 4z is equal to negative 
14. And again, you can uh, you can mess around with the uh, equations. So I can actually divide this by negative two, right? So you can divide it by any, like you can multiply or divide it by any uh, scalar. Um, that's fine. And so if I divide this equation by negative two, I now get positive x plus y minus 2z is equal to positive 7. And so that's going to be the equation of the plane, and that's how you find then the equation of a plane when you have two lines lying in the plane. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful uh, for defining equations of the lines. And so now, since we've got the foundations down, we, we can move on, I think, to uh, distance, which is the next part I was going to talk about. Yeah, so distance from points to lines.